What's up, YouTube? Today we're going to talk about Regen Nature. Uh, it is now pretty insane after the newest balance patch. Why is it so crazy? Let's take a look at the deck list. Um, what are the cards that have changed that are going to enable this to be nuts? Well, first of all, we've got Wildfire, which deals one damage to each of your opponent's creatures. Give plus one, plus one, and regen plus one to your wild creatures. Um, and also, in addition to this change, almost every creature now has the tag of wild in nature. So this almost can read to all of your creatures. They're going to get plus one, plus one, and regen because you have Marsh Walkers, Best Friends, the Badger and Eagle are now um, also wild. That means your god power, which makes a badger or eagle a wild, so you can always have a wild at hand. Underbrush Boar, Black Jag, Ornery Goat, Moonhound, Bladefly spits out three Black Jag, Staff spits out two Black Jags, uh, Wild Hog times two. So you have a ton of wild creatures. Um, and again, your god power spits out wilds, so your wildfire now can clear a couple of your opponent's little creatures. And it also just completely buffs yours and gives them regen so they can trade, live, regen their health, and continue on their merry way. Um, in addition to that, we have things like Untamed Regrowth got buffed. It's a one mana now. Um, give Confused to each creature. This can basically be used to uh, pop ward on all of your opponent's creatures. It also gives Confused to all of your own creatures. So you could use it with the Gloom Druid, which get your Confused creatures get plus two strength. For the most part, most of your stuff is Confused, but things like Chiron, Pyramid Warden, Shield Bearers uh, are not. And so therefore, you could make sure everything that you have is Confused using Untamed Regrowth. But the most important part here is that it refreshes four mana. This is basically like the old pack stock was one mana, refresh five. So this enables you to have a very big turn. For instance, you could play Bladefly on turn four, play a Pip, and then play Wildfire. All in one turn uh, after playing your Untamed Regrowth, of course. Uh, it would refresh your four mana. You could then drop your Wildfire. Even if you had no board before you played the Bladefly, on turn four, you can now play Bladefly, play Wildfire, and you'd have three 3-3s three, threes with Regen 1. Uh, just on turn four after having a completely empty board. So, uh, and that's that's like a worst case scenario. Of course, you've, you're always using your god power to get wilds. You're playing all these little wilds, spamming the board. You're going wide with best friends. It's going to be tough for your opponent to handle all of your wild creatures. And you really only need maybe two to three targets in order to make wildfire fire worthwhile, uh, especially if you're able to kill any of your opponent's creatures with this damage um you really only need maybe two creatures of your own to be buffing in order for this to be super worth it so that is the deck list let's dive in and take a look at a couple games and uh, see how it goes all right so we're going second uh, i don't like the goat going second as much Going first, it puts your opponent on the back foot. But going second, it's too easy to clear off. Uh, best friends and Wild Hog are kind of nice. He can cheat God Power, his uh, one of my eagles. And I need to be able to get two creatures on board to play that. And since I'm going second, it might be harder. Uh, I'd like something like a Pyramid Warden here. Ask and you shall receive. Uh, going second, we need something like a Pyramid Warden or a Vanguard Axe Swimmin to try and catch up. That's really annoying because he can now trade that instantly. Um, I'm still going to play this. Rather him kill this and get nothing back than kill my Black Jag. would buff this, but if he has a hunting trap, this just dies no matter what. 
and he has no relic equipped right now, so Chiron is kind of wasted there, I think. He can also make trade very easily and kill my Chiron, so uh, I think we wait. Maybe he plays a Slip Blade in a few turns. This gets rid of uh, one of the durability. There is some relic removal in the Sanctum. A Glamoured Gladius he just got from the Shady Merchant. It's got Blitz. He can attack here. Interesting. Oh, he, he messed up. Probably. I don't know. I probably would have attacked a creature with this. It would have given one of these either three attack. He could trade this. Uh, or it would give this two attack. Uh, and if he had attacked here, he could trade off the hog. So, I don't know. Probably should have done something. Um, I definitely want to kill this so he doesn't just keep getting infinite relics. And I think I'm going to use the untamed regrowth as well. So, that's not what I meant to grab. Let's grab the Chiron first. See what gets buffed. This gets buffed. Let's see if we can't trade this way. This will regen back to two, so we'd have to use this relic and god power to kill this off. Um, yeah, maybe we don't blade fly here. I'm going to. We uh, shouldn't have god powered, but. deal two damage to any target so if I wanted to I could kill off my Chiron and then play my boar which would kill his creature uh, I am going to do that guys alive um, basically he's two turns away from rapture dance so we need to win quickly he has more relics he can't equip them this turn but I'm probably gonna grab the bronze servant Ooh, I was gonna say if we get a rune of fire we could just have lethal potentially here Ooh, we are two off Go ahead and grab this. Let's equip the relic. That gives me lethal between. Alright, we're going first this time. I love the ornery goat going first. Against light, I love it even more. It can't be lights levied. Uh, I still don't like Gloom Druid in the starting hand. Canopy Barrage, I like against light. If they have an Olympian guard, this can get rid of it. Uh, which means I don't like best friends because we don't have anything else to do here. Pyramid Warden, love it. Can get lights levied, but not this first turn. So it's going to stick around for at least a turn. Deal some damage, clear a creature, whatever it needs to do. We could clear his Pyramid Warden here. Um... That is exactly what I will do. Normally you want your Pyramid Warden to die first, but uh, he hasn't really done that much damage to this. It's still possible for him to just Lights Levy maybe. And I really wanted to get the goat out behind a wall. 
And so I'm gonna just play the goat and pass. And next turn we've got this, which has blitz. It's possible that the goat kills the blind martyr, and that would have been sad, but okay. Um, so ultimately, we are not going to get anything back. But we can have a really wide board here with best friends, shield bearer, and faith flame blade. Let's confuse this guy. Let's kill this. If we had tried to use the goat to kill it and it went the wrong way, it would have given it much more health. So we'll do that this way. Um, now we can kill this. It buffs this guy, but we can buff our goat. Take that out. Play best friends. And we now have a relic with two durability and twin strike and a massive board against light. And light cannot win if they do not have a board. Um, this trade will get him back. Potentially a Pyramid Warden which is going to take two damage automatically. Two damage from my relic. Ooh, okay. Iron Tooth Goblin, a very nice tech. <laughs> it instantly died to the goat. Um, we're, so, we're so close to the Val of Champions, but we can't get it without getting through this. So we've only got one creature in here, and it's a Pyramid Warden, so if we do sack... The goat. It's quite possible we get it right back. And if not, we get a Pyramid Warden back. Would prefer the goat so he doesn't get his stuff back. We play this. We have a full board. We go face. And uh, none of these cost one. So well, this, this does, but we don't have a board. Uh, so I'm not going to grab anything. I do have pretty good relics. Uh, in my deck in the Jagstaffs, so I don't know if I need the Lambasting Wand, but if he's not going to do anything, uh, yeah. Alright, we're going first. Best Friends going first is good. Ornery Goat going first is great. Um, I don't have any other cards, though, that work with Best Friends right now, so I'm going to get rid of it. Normally, I would get rid of Wildfire. This card is phenomenal, though, so I'm actually going to get rid of the... I'm going to get rid of the Shield Bearer and just look for some Wilds here. And we're going to look to drop this Wildfire as early as humanly possible. Going first, I'm afforded the opportunity to play this Hog if he plays, like, an Olympian Guard. Because I have the Faith Flame Blade, I can immediately answer. If he has a shield bearer, that's really annoying. But they still both die to my Faith Flame Blade. But now we're kind of a turn behind. Doesn't matter, they're both dead. Really wanted to be able to get my goat out that turn. It's unfortunate, but at least we have the weapon. Yikes. Ooh, Boar is very nice, and we can also Canopy Barrage, so we can theoretically clear everything here, especially with the Relic. So we can Canopy Barrage first. Of course, it hits the wrong one. Now, Light needs to have a board in order to win this game, and we've taken that away from him. He has two cards left. We can get the goat out. We can get the goat out. That's huge. 
Um, God Power plus Pyramid Warden is also huge. Let's see where this goes. Huh. Start building up our arsenal of wilds here. Next turn we got Goat plus God Power. Then the turn after we could Wildfire. Imperious Smite is not really impressive. Um, Gloom Druid, eh? I'm going to play the Gloom Druid only because I really want this to kill either of these so he can't kill my goat. Perfect. We need that goat to survive. Uh, he has no favor, so we're just going to pass. I would love this Rune of Strength. Foul Champions is pretty good. If he gets a Relic, we can look at the Wiccan Trapper, but... That's annoying, he can now trade out my goat. I mean, he still needs a board to win, right? So, if we can clear his board... And then just go three wide here. It's going to be very difficult for him to come back from this. Wildfire is finally reasonable next turn because we can God Power first. We'll have three targets, and that should just do it. Presume he's going to God Power here. Maybe he's sitting on a Canonize. Oh, double wildfire. This kills both of these, which is insane. If we can get the black jag to take this out. Nice. Everything lives. If he doesn't kill these, next turn we have another wildfire and god power first. Uh, it's going to be pretty gross. Quickly built his board back up, but he's out of cards. Oh, best friends and then wildfire. That does gain me two more cards. Two more creatures on board here. And yet another wildfire. 5-5 five, five with three regen. 4-3 with two. 4-3 with two. 3-2 three, two with one. And a 2-3 with one say we're sitting pretty. Uh, none of them have three attacks, so these won't die. But let's try and take out the important ones. Cool. Uh, again, light can't win with no board. Light's only board wipe was purification filter, and that's gone. So I don't even have to worry about that. At six and a half mana, there is just literally nothing he could play here to stop me from killing him next turn. So there's a little taste of what super aggro nature can do now. Wildfire is insane. Uh, double wildfire, even more insane. Throw in a trial of the Hydra if you'd like into this deck and uh, just buff your creatures to no end. I <laughs> uh, hope you guys found that helpful and enjoyable, and I will see you guys next time.